What is going on guys? Okay, so in today's video I'm going to be telling you every single bit of detail that we know so far about Rugby 20 which is being released in just over a month. Uh, there's a lot to talk about uh, and I'm trying to keep it brief as well for you guys. So uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy. Welcome back to another video on the Rugby channel. Please make sure you go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the notification button as well as please go ahead and follow us on our social media platforms to be up to date with the channel. Okay, so first up, we know what the cover art is going to be for the actual game cover. Uh, that is going to feature Jonathan Sexton on the front cover uh, with a faded green paint sort of background look to it with the official Rugby 20 logo. Uh, so this, as you can see right now, is the game cover for it. I'd imagine it'll probably have like the licensing at the bottom of the official cover as well, showing off what they have in the game. Uh, so then next up then is a rumor of a mode which could be a possibility uh, Recently I looked on a website uh, which is a journalist website in a recent video So if you want to go check out check that out make sure you go ahead and do so the title of the video is called rugby 20 has a new game mode uh, And there's a possibility that classic matches may be introduced uh, Where you'll get to play as a classic Ireland or classic Wales team or classic Scotland uh, Being able to, uh, whether that's going to be being able to play as players from the past we don't know yet But it is a possibility it's all up in the air so that could be interesting if it is true uh, so up next then we have uh, the player likenesses as you can see here yes okay graphics aren't up to standard as of like FIFA and Madden uh, but it is decent and you can tell with certain players what the face scans look like as you can see here uh, we have an American player who plays for Sail Sharks and the scan is pretty good and uh, overall it's not amazing but again it's decent compared to Rugby 18. So next up then we have the amount of stadiums that are featured in this game. There is around 10 so far. Uh, whether or not there will be more I don't know. Uh, but here are the 10 stadiums which you can see right now. Uh, some of them covering almost every single ground likeness. So next up then as we know is the solo mode is a possibility that it is career mode. Uh, I mean it was a lot of rumours and speculation that it will be a career mode where you'll get to manage your own team. Uh, it hasn't been officially confirmed but a lot of people are saying that and also somebody commented to Rugby20 asking about it and they did say it will be a career mode. Whether it's going to be making your own player we don't know yet uh, but it is interesting because uh, Rugby18 didn't have a career mode and it should be quite fun. So ne up next now is something that we don't know 100% about yet which is card management. Uh, it is rumoured that card management could be the possibility to edit logos or edit team names and stuff like that. Hence why there's blank logos in the background. It's not officially confirmed yet. Uh, but again, if this is true, it would make the game absolutely amazing because it has got a few unlicensed teams. But again, we don't know if it is yet. Uh, up next then is the licensing as we know. These are the official licensed teams for the final version of the game, which is the top 14, the Pro D2, which are the two French leagues, well, the most professional ones in France anyway, uh, the Pro 14, which is the uh, Wales teams, the Irish teams, the Scottish teams, the Italian clubs, as well as the two South African conferences playing in that as well. Uh, then we have the English Gallagher Premiership, uh, so in, although England's not licensed in the game, you will have a lot of English players being able to choose from. Uh, and then the national teams we have Japan, Samoa, Scotland, Tonga, USA, Russia, Wales, Canada, France, Italy, Georgia, Ireland and Namibia. So it has a lot of licensing uh, and overall has 69 licensed teams. Uh, again that's quite an accomplishment compared to Rugby 18. Uh, although there isn't any Southern Hemisphere teams in it, if we do have the possibility to edit teams and add players into it, you should make some decent teams anyway because there are a lot of Southern Hemisphere players playing in those licensed leagues there for their clubs. Uh, so yeah, overall there's a lot that we know about Rugby 20 so far, but there's also a lot we don't know. So for example, card management, whether or not we'll be able to edit our own players or make our own players. Uh, whether or not career mode is going to be manager mode or create a player mode. Uh, and yeah, there's a load more stuff we don't actually know yet, but this, that's all the stuff we know so far. Uh, obviously, you guys have seen gameplay on my channel anyway, so I don't need to go into that. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comments, guys. Uh, are you going to be buying Rugby 20? Are you not? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and smash the like button to show your support for this video. We upload rugby videos every single day throughout December and then every single week after December. So if you are a big rugby fan, please go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I've been Andrew. I will see you in another episode, which will be tomorrow. Peace out, guys.